In this video, we're going to work on some examples of algebra problems where you have to combine like terms. So let's start with a simple example. Let's say we have the algebraic expression 5x plus 8 plus 7x. And we're told to simplify the expression. How can we do so? Well, we need to do something called combine like terms. So which terms are like terms? There's three terms that we have in this expression. 5x is a term, 8 is a term, and 7x is a term. 8 is a constant term. It doesn't have a variable like x, y, or a, b, c. 5x is a term that contains a variable, in this case the variable being x. The number in front of x is called the coefficient. 5x and 7x are like terms. So let's rearrange it just to keep things simple. So I'm going to put the like terms next to each other. By the way, you can't add 5x with 8 because they're not like terms. The 8 doesn't have the same variable as the 5. So you shouldn't add them. You can't say it's 13 or 13x. That's not going to work. Now, these two terms are like terms because they have the same variable, x. So what we can do is we can add their coefficients to get the right answer. 5x plus 7x is 12x. So the final answer is 12x plus 8. And we can't combine 12x plus 8 because they're not like terms. Now, for the sake of practice, let's work on some other examples. Let's try this one. 9x plus 7 minus 5x plus 4. So which terms are like terms? 9x and 5x are like terms. So let's rewrite this expression. 9x minus 5x. 7 and 4 are like terms. They're both constant terms. So we can add them. So let's focus on this. What is 9 minus 5? 9 minus 5 is 4. So 9x minus 5x is going to be 4x. Now combining these two, 7 plus 4, that's going to be 11. So the final answer for this problem is 4x plus 11. Now let's work on another example. Let's say we have 3y minus 6x plus 8y plus 3x. So go ahead and simplify this algebraic expression. Feel free to pause the video if you want to. So let's begin by identifying which terms are like terms. So these two are like terms because they contain the y variable. Negative 6x and 3x are like terms. Now, you don't have to rearrange the expression if you don't want to. At this point, you can simply combine the like terms. So let's combine 3y and 8y. 3y plus 8y is 11y. Now, let's combine the other two. So we have negative 6x plus 3x. So what is negative 6 plus 3? Negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. So negative 6x plus 3x is negative 3x. So the answer is 11y minus 3x. Now let's try an example that contains more terms. So we have 5x plus 4x squared plus 7 minus 3x minus 9 plus 8x squared. Feel free to pause the video and work on that example problem. So identify the like terms. 4x squared and 8x squared are like terms. 4x squared plus 8x squared, that's going to be 12x squared. Next, we have 5x and negative 3x. They're like terms as well. So 5 minus 3 is 2. So that's 5x minus 3x is going to be 2x. Next, we have 7 and negative 9. Those are the constant terms. 7 plus negative 9, or 7 minus 9, that's negative 2. And so this is the final answer in its simplified form. So as you can see, combining like terms is not very difficult. But sometimes, instead of having just one variable like x, you may contain 
you may have a problem with uh, multiple variables, one containing x and y, like this one. So let's say we have 3xy plus 4x squared y plus 5xy minus 6x squared y plus 9x. Now, this problem may look a little bit more confusing, but don't let that get to you. Focus on which terms are similar. Notice that these two are like terms because they contain the same variables x and y. Now, even though these two contain the same variables, they contain the same number of those variables. That is, they both contain an x squared and a y. So they're similar to each other, but different from x, y. Now, the 9x is by itself, so there's nothing we can combine that with. Let's focus on these two. 3xy plus 5xy. 3 plus 5 is 8. So this is going to give us 8xy. Next, we have 4x squared y minus 6x squared y. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. So this is going to be negative 2x squared y. And then we could just rewrite the last one since... There's nothing we can do with that. So this right here is the answer. 8xy minus 2x squared y plus 9x. Now, what would you do if you saw a problem like this? Let's say we have 4 times 3x plus 5 minus 7x. Go ahead and try that. Now, if you have parentheses, you need to use something called the distributive property. We need to distribute the 4 to 3x and 5. Use the multiplication. So 4 times 3x. 4 times 3 is 12. Thus, 4 times 3x is going to be 12x. Next, we have 4 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20. And then we could rewrite this expression on the right. Now, at this point, we can combine like terms. So the only like terms that we can combine in this example are 12x and negative 7x. 12 minus 7 is 5. So this is going to be 5x. Thus the final answer is 5x plus 20. Here's another similar example. Here we have 5 times 2y plus 3 minus 3 times 4y minus 8. So go ahead and try that one. 5 times 2y that's going to be 10y. Next, we have 5 times 3, which is 15. And then negative 3 times 4y, that's negative 12y. And negative 3 times negative 8, that's going to be positive 24. Next, we need to combine like terms. So these two are similar. 10y minus 12y, that's negative 2y. And then 15 plus 24, that's going to be 39, positive 39. So the final answer is negative 2y plus 39. Try this one. 4 times x squared plus 3x minus 5 minus 5 times 2x squared minus 4x plus 7. So first we have 4 times x squared. That's going to be 4x squared. And then 4 times 3x, that's 12x. And then 4 times negative 5, that's negative 20. Next we have negative 5 times 2x squared. That's negative 10x squared. And then negative 5 times negative 4x, that's positive 20x. And then negative 5 times 7, which is negative 35. By the way, if you feel that I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video and try this yourself. Our next step is to combine like terms. So these two are similar. 4 minus 10 is negative 6. And then just write the x squared on top of that, or to the, next, to the right of it. Next, we have 12x plus 20x, so that's going to be 32x. And finally, we have negative 20 minus 35, which is negative 55. And so that's it for this example. That's the answer. Let's work on one more example. So we have 3 times x cubed plus 5x minus 8, and then minus 7 
times x squared minus 6x plus 4. So let's distribute. So here we have 3 times x cubed, which is 3x cubed. And then 3 times 5x, that's 15x. And then 3 times negative 8, which is negative 24. Next, we have negative 7 times x squared. That's negative 7x squared. And then negative 7 times negative 6x, that's going to be positive 42x. And then negative 7 times 4, which is negative 28. Now, let's combine like terms. So there's no other like term compared to or with 3x cubed. So because it's by itself, we're just going to rewrite it. Same thing with 7x squared. There's no other term with an x squared. So let's rewrite that as well. Now, 15x and 42x, they're like terms. So we can add 15 and 42. That's going to give us 57. Negative 24 and negative 28, those are constant terms, but they're like terms. So we can combine them. Negative 24 minus 28, that's going to be negative 52. So the final answer is 3x cubed minus 7x squared plus 57x minus 52.